Hey everyone, and welcome back. And today is my birthday that I'm posting this, the 22nd of October. And I thought for my birthday, I wanted to post an updated Monster High collection, not just Generation 1, but also with Generation 2 and Generation 3 and just all the Monster High that is everywhere in the room. So just like a big, my complete Monster High collection. I mean, it's not complete, but like, you know, my entire Monster High collection. And I think I'm gonna put in some uh, the Ever After High dolls too. Just just to like not have to give them their own video and just, just tack them on here at the end. But uh, this is an adult channel of real collectors. Anyway, so let's get into it and start with Generation 1. And uh, if you are a long time subscriber and you've been here through this and how Monster High used to be in that room, uh, now they switch with uh, Rainbow High and OMG and now they're out here and how excruciating it was to move them out of here and actually find like a home for everyone. So if you remember all of my, well, there's like all the, the movie posters that I've printed and stuff up on the ceiling, but here are all the signature or like dolls that I consider a doll signature look from generation one. We can just pan this way. And yeah, I do have some Comic-Con dolls up here because it is like their signature looks like Hexakaya and Valentine and Wisp. There's RuPaul up there. Thank you, Monster High, for sending her to me for free. I got this poster, this uh, signage from when the Creep Productions were released in Walmart, and I just asked an employee, and they just let me have it. So here are the main ghouls. And I don't know, I just consider that Gil's signature look, whatever. Here is Manny and Iris. This is a good way to save stands. Have the boy carry the girl in some sort of manner. Like if they have like a special stand, like the green one and the gold one, I would obviously keep them with that. But like they just had plain black stands. Abby and Heath Skeleta. There is Lenore up there. Giant Skeleta. There are some, I would say that this is Widona's signature look, you know? The Werecats, some New York Girls, Costa, Gilda. Blech. Here is Hong Couture and Midnight Runway. Uh, I feel like these are still in stock on Mattel Creations website. And I think as collectors, we kind of knew that this would happen. But these are amazing. I really like this uh, Laguna. She really reminds me of like the late 80s Little Mermaid trends, you know? Though Dracula is probably my favorite. This is kind of hard because I really love these two. And then the Skelectors. So, like, the setup is Skelectors are going to be running in through the middle, so. There's Chucky and Tiffany, Annabelle, Greta, that my friend graciously sold to me for list price, and I could not be happier. And another friend sold them to me, uh, Beetlejuice and Lydia, and uh, Brooke gifted me one. She literally saved my life. And here is Elvira. The Hocus Pocus dolls are going to go here. That December release date is not it. I hope that that's wrong and that they come out sooner because I need them now. There's just this big hollow space right here. They were on, like, in stock for like nine hours too. And I think that the new uh, Young He from Squid Games is going to be on this shelf. Jack and Sally Bloodbath. Um... Here are some more collectors. Frank is just so beautiful. I love him. And then this lovely set right here. And here we have Haunted in its entirety. I was just wondering, do ghosts get, like, tired? Like, do they just float forever? I don't know. Like, like in lore? I don't know. Here is 13 Wishes. Love it. Twilight's obviously my favorite. I guess I should just say that in every single one of them. Uh, River is my favorite in there. This one's hard because this is probably, like, as a whole, my favorite Monster Highline ever. Uh, but River is my favorite. And Frank is my favorite here. Uh, Jack and Sally. I feel like they count as one. Uh, Lydia? No, Greta. Greta for sure. And that one's hard. Too hard to decide. Scaris, Skeleta, obviously. But here it is with the car. I did have the playset, but... When we moved into this house, I was dumb and got rid of a lot of my bigger playsets. And I wish I hadn't done that, but I wouldn't have had the space for it anyway, so. 
Here is the when here are the Wednesday dolls. This is not Mattel, but thank you, Mattel, for sending me the Wednesday dolls for free. Uh, I have reviews for all of these up on my channel. This I got at Walmart, and that I got at Walmart. The styling head is super funny and random. Here is Boo No Fright's camera action. A lot of a lot of duds in this one. Oh, I think my favorite is just regular Wednesday and Enid, just as a duo. Honey Swamp, Honey Swamp, Honey Swamp, one hundred percent. That. Rebecca, just, I hate, I hate the chrome, and I hate how her head doesn't move, and I hate her hair and her bald head, I don't know. Uh, but I, in general, am not too pleased with this line. I like all the original characters, and that's about it. That's, like, one of the worst dolls, in my opinion. I hate that Laguna. And then, and a lot of these are technically, I think, G2, but I don't care. Um, they're just, like, special edition dolls that I had nowhere else to put, so they are living here. And my Monster High backpack, my Ever After High backpack. And then here are some of the holiday dolls. So there's the Deuce and Cleo two-pack, the first Skeleta, uh, the two-pack with Claude and Draculaura. Such a good pack, such a good Drac and uh, Claude. And then I think these are like the better ones from the set. So this Skeleta is amazing. And that Cleo, these are all so good. I wish she didn't have that butt face. I wish she came with a super, super amazing cunty Claudian face and not like the wider eyes that they started giving her at some point in G1. But that Dracula is amazing. The Skeleta is everything. I think that's one of the best faces Skeleta's ever gotten. I wish it was a red lip, but I will take pink. So here are some more special editions. So there's the Mummy Majesty, Stitch and Style. The Fang Vote, Rochelle, Fang Vote, Jennifer comes out in December too, so. Um, G Glux Gulia, this poor operetta, I don't know what they were thinking. Vampire Heart Draculaura, amazing, amazing, amazing. Best Draculaura of all time, I would say, in Generation 1. And then here are the Power Ghouls plus Gulia. Gulia is so amazing. Thank you so much, Monster Rider, sending me here for me, sending her to me for free. Um, Sweet Screams and Scarily After slash Scary Tales. Never really know what to call this line. And they are just so incredible. I just remember when these were coming out and then when they would clearance out. Like, you could find both of these, like, sets at Target for, like, $8 when they were getting clearance. And sometimes even cheaper. They don't do clearance like that anymore. And it's sad. And here's Gloom and Bloom. That Cleo is so incredible. Like, they are in, like, they're competing for the best doll, for sure. But everyone here is so good. Not so much Amanita. And then here's I Heart Fashion and uh, Scaritage, I think, and I Heart Bags, I Heart Shoes. Just a bunch of accessory-based dolls back there. Skeleta is so good. I'm going to say that forever. But I do love that we got our second Iris here and Scara. Everyone's so good. That She's kind of mechanical boots, that horrible Jackson bag. It's so bulky and awful. Here is... Boo York, Boo York. I, I'm debating whether or not to take that Nefra out of her little packaging, but I don't know. She's been in there since that, like, this movie came out, so I'm kind of, like, one of the only things I've ever kept in box. So, here is Freak Du Chic. Like, a crown jewel. So amazing. I do have the original Dracula. She's back there hiding. But this Dracula, like, was like, move, bitch, and... Now she gets this spot here. Oh, I didn't do real drama. Thank you so much, Monster High, for sending them to me for free. And this little, like, set right here with Frankie. I guess I should show it a little closer. I think this is the light. Oh. I don't know how to turn it on, apparently. But it does turn on. But these are the real drama dolls. I hope that... Apparently, we're getting a Cleo, and I hope that means that they're going to restock these because that drop was insane. Like, I don't know anyone that actually got them uh, off the website. Here is Dance... No, Dawn of the Dance, one of the best lines ever. I don't know why it's so low up here, because I have a lot of the movie lines up there. Maybe I might switch them with them. Hmm. But then here is uh, Great Scary Reef. And... Just an assortment of date night two packs. The Rochelle one and this one are so good. This one, eh, it's okay. Everyone else is really good. I really do like this one. It's so cute and like with the roller skates and her really curly hair. 
Here is Freaky Fusion, the hot mess that it is. Does anybody, is this anybody's like favorite line? Let me know if it's your favorite line in the comments and let me know why. And here are, on this like portion of the castle, some uh, Ghouls Alive dolls that don't work anymore. And then up here we have some athletic dolls like in the like, fear leading outfits and Deuce in his cascaball. And yeah, that's, that's just them right there. I feel like I should move Spectra and Venus up there because there's a Frankie up there already. And then there's the Collector Draculara and then Ghoul's Rule here in the front. And here we have the Frightfully Tall Ghouls. We never got enough of these. Imagine if they gave us like Frightfully Tall, like Halloween or Twyla in like a shorter size, please. Bring that back for G3, please. Here we have uh, my picture with Garrett Sander when I met him at Disneyland, Ghoul Chat, Art Class. There's, um, is it Back to School? Sweet 1600, the Classroom Dolls, the Monster Exchange. Here we have Swim, in my opinion, the best bathing suit doll line of all time. I don't care what anybody says, it's so good. Sorry, I'm kind of burpy right now. And then the Zombie Shake. They're both so good. Um, Diner Drac and Operetta, the two pack Claudine. Here we have the Ghoul Sports. The Wolf Family four pack, that was Walmart exclusive. Uh, music Festival. And like these, like, I think Mall Monsteristas or something. And Nicole's exclusive dolls. Here we have uh, Picture Day and Picture Day ad adjacent dolls and the Laguna in her hydration station. But I do keep this Claudine here because she didn't get a Picture Day doll, which I think is stupid, but she did get a new Scaremaster doll. So she came over here and that Gulia with her motorcycle, well, her scooter, goes here too. Here we have Ghoul's Night Out, and I think they're part of the Student Disembody pack. But then there's Caddy Noir right here. It's such a special, amazing doll. They had a really cool gimmick where she was released on September the 13th, I think, Friday the 13th. Uh, Coffin Bean dolls. Uh, Lundoom. I have a lot of like extra seating and stands and stuff behind them. Here are the Rocker dolls. The two pack with Caddy and Torlai, and then the three pack with Claudine, Venus, and Jennifer. Freaky field trip, Wallen Werecats, I think, Wheelin Werecats. And then some dead tire dolls right here. Uh, Ghoul Spirit right there. And these are like, they're doing exercise and they didn't come with shoes. Here are the Crepiteria dolls. And this deuce came in a set with that um, gill back there. Sorry about that. And here we have Ghoul's Getaway, I think. Uh, this was such a random but really cool line. They have, like, amazing shoes. And then I think these are the Mall Monsters, actually. I, don't, I never saw them here in the States. If you did, let me know. I got them online. They were kind of expensive. I know they were 100 bucks with free shipping from another country, so... Eh, I wanted them, so, and I think she's from the Student and Body Pack, but she had nowhere else to go, because I separated that pack. And then here is Gloom Beach, and some operettas and fashion packs, and the locker Draculara. Here we have Dot Did Gorgeous. I need that outfit for Spectra. I don't know what I did with it. And then some two packs. Heath is on the uh signature shelf right there is skull shores dance classes down there and then here we have skultimate roller maze so i think that's it for the bulk of my actual generation one collection and then here we have some doubles my friend alex did this for me and miss rossi on instagram painted this 
beautiful Laguna and my friends and family got her for me for my birthday last year. My double of Rochelle because Rochelle was made for me. I was so happy when she won. My double Annabelle. My double, um, just these are just doubles that I like to play with and get to play with because I don't like touching or playing with my uh, display dolls. It's just the type of collector that I am. And then here we have uh, G2. So these are the signature dolls right here. Poor Monica. She is kind of pretty, but it should have been Gulia. And I hate our haunting tan with all my heart. And then Shriek Wrecked, such an amazing, incredible line for G2. See, like, when we dogpile on G2, I never mean Shriek Wrecked. It's so good. Even her with her gimmick, like, with her weird dress. And then Dance the Fright Away. That Ari is actual poo from a butt. She's so horrible. But everyone else is pretty okay. This Monica is actually really, really beautiful. And, like, so Beetlejuicy, actually. Her brain shoes are so good. Just some random assortment and merch and another and a bunch of other random dolls from G2 whose like lines I do not remember what they're called. But I had a bunch of other G2, but I'm dumb and sold them. Oh, here's more G1. The off-white dolls. Thank you, Monster High, for sending me this doll for free. And this doll is so amazing. Just that 150 price point is keeping a lot of people away. And her and my friend John got her for me for my birthday. Thank you so much, John. So that's the off-white dolls. And then here are just my doubles that I allow myself to play with. My Pride and Joy, Frankie, Frankenstein, and Manny Tar dolls. And uh, my Skeleton Crew dolls. I like to headcanon that Skeleta and Jack are cousins. And that... Skeleta goes to Halloween Town, like to visit and stuff. And Jack and Sally are alumni and they won cutest couple. Some more play dolls. Just got doubles of series five of Skeleton Secrets to play with. They did not have any good Venuses. Uh, my play with Eden and Enid and um, Wednesday. Play with dolls. More play with dolls. Uh, these are the new Barbie Dream Besties. I have not found a good Renee. My earrings that I made. Here are Glinda and Alphaba. The potions from G3. Uh, my double of Blood Good right here. Some figures, the rock candies. Uh, these were coming out towards the end of G1, these little vinyls. And then my crew productions that I play with, plus... Uh, iris and then the funko pops and then these are g3 and there's all this collector boxes right here this is in like the bts slash boys love room which if you want to see that let me know that doesn't tend to do very well like you guys don't really seem to care about that and then here is the haunted high school such an amazing playset like my favorite playset of all time from monster high I have the main, I have like one of every ghoul except for the twins because I've not been able to get my hands on an extra set of the twins. If you're selling them, let me know. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. But yeah, it's amazing. I have a video on this. And then, yeah, here are my creep rows that are on display that I don't play with. And then the vinyls right here along the bottom. I wish they'd bring something like this into G3 too. I mean, I guess they kind of did with the, the little potion bottles, but mm, there are my husband's dolls right there. He collects deuces. And then up here, this is G3. But along the top, we have the Skulltman Secrets dolls and all of their lockers. I did print out these at Walgreens, just found the highest resolution that I could. And put them out, but I got that from Walmart. I just asked if I could have it, and they let me have it. So here is Skeleton Secrets one, and then two with Viridescent. So good. This used to be the best one. Here is Neon Frights. I don't think anyone thinks this is the best line. If you do, let me know why. Uh, series four. I don't remember what this one's called. And then Garden Mysteries, which is the best one, even though it has the least amount of dolls. These dolls, like, 
just pack quite a punch. They are amazing. I have videos up for everyone up here and everyone in G3. And then along the top, kind of similar, like over there, are my signatures here, but there are more Sculpted My Secrets dolls, and I didn't want to jam all the Sculpted My Secrets dolls into here. But starting with Claude and Deuce, Heath, Gulia, Laguna, Twyla. Uh, Twyla's my favorite from this one, I think, and Laguna. Ugh. I do love the boys. Mm, I can never pick a favorite. Like, this shelf's impossible, because, like, I am a Draculara ghoul to the bone, but Spectra's amazing, and Katrine, Katrine Caddy, and Venus, and Abby, just everyone here has, like, the curvier, more, not curvy, because she's standard, I think, but just really tall, but I feel like she's got thicker thighs than the other ones, and I think she's on the Cleo body, maybe, because she's got a really tiny waist and, like, wider hips, and then here's Cleo, Frankie, uh, Claudine, Torline, the twins. I love the twins so much. Here is Monster Ball plus Voltageous Frankie. What's Voltageous something? Amped Up. Amped Up Frankie and the His Fits uh, Torlai. She's so good. And then here is the Quarry Fresh set. This Cleo is incredible, and so is this Laguna. So, so good. Monster Fest. Uh, I really do love this set. It's so good and so crazy and loud. I wish it would have been called Ghoulcella instead of Monster Fest, though. Here are uh, the Coffee Break 2-pack and Fabulous Pets. Cleo and the 2-pack with Draculaura and Claudine. Can't forget uh, Fancy Laguna and like the Caboodle Cleo and Draculaura. Here we have the Fearbook dolls and this Claudine wearing a fashion pack that kind of came with uh, the His Fits. It was like a shirt dress and a uh, shawl. So I was like, hmm. Claudine can be there supporting her girlfriend while they're shooting music video with Draculara and Twyla's just playing Dungeons and Dragons by herself. Here we have Ghoul Spirit, the new car you can get away and the second outfits are right there. And these are just a bunch of like main ghoul lines this was a two-pack with the car and then day out and monsteristas here these are like international uh exclusives but i managed to get them off instagram if anyone has cleo please let me know let me know on instagram i'm sorry it's getting a little dark over here but this is the studio with claudine and these are all her outfits and then oop Claudine and Draculara, the two-pack that came with the bed, is right there. She fell. Whoops. Here is Skultimit. No. What is it? The beach line. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, too many thoughts going through my head. And here are all the doubles. The second outfits for the Skultimit Secrets dolls. These are all of their second outfits on display. And here is Cleo from Self Scare and Spotty Laguna with the rest of Creepover Party. What is, what are they called? Something Island. I can't remember. That's Ultimate. That's too many skulls and ultimates. So yeah, that's them right there. And I think I just have to tack on ever after high oh this wall of doubles yeah <laughs> so there's like the dracula army some doubles up there scared ice island yes uh these are just like g1 and g3 doubles that aren't over there they're just over here and i like how they look but yeah those are my husband's i've never watched death Note in my life but not that it's a bad thing i just never have gotten around to it but yeah these are all doubles because, like, my crazy-ass idea before G3 came out was to get a double of every single character. But G3 is, you know, a tyrant and taking over my life. But here is Ever After High. And I'll just do a quick little rundown of them. Like Monster High, all of the signature dolls are up there. Those are my least favorite up there. That's why they're up there. Poor Michelle, she had so much potential. But 
She came out with that doo-doo pink hair instead of the pastel color hair she has in the show. And I just hate Courtly with all my heart. Um, and Jillian and Nina having tinier heads pisses me off. But here are the twins. But Nina Thumbbell is really, really beautiful. And here is Justine. She should be closer over here, but there's so many like incredible main dolls that are over here, like main character dolls. Uh, Ashlyn, ugh, bunny. You guys know my hatred for this doll. Not hate, just disdain. I think her execution was so bad. Kitty, I grew on me because I hated her at first too because I was like, bitch, why are you purple? You are not purple in the show. But there's Big Maddie. I love Rosabella and Cupid. I really liked Ferris uh, Bold, even though it looks like she's smelling of heart. Here are the Ferris on Ice, some collector slash Comic-Con dolls. The Comic-Con dolls are like unbeatable at Ever After High. And I think this was, these were um, Heartstruck and Rally After, Just Sweet. These were uh, Target exclusive and Toys R Us exclusives. And here we have Legacy Day. Ashlyn and Maddie are so incredible in this set. It's amazing. Spring Unsprung, probably my favorite movie collection, just solely because of Kitty Cheshire, if we're being honest. The Ever After High books, those little um, gremlins right there. Here we have Epic Winter with Throne Coming and Through the Woods. Epic Winter was such a disappointment to me because we got the smaller heads and the new face sculpt. Uh, here's some more lines, book party. I forgot what this one's called. And some, something picnic, enchanted picnic. Try Castle on and the Carnival 2 pack. Carnival date. Here we have Way to Wonderland. This briar was the devil to find. I had to get her online through Mexico, eBay. Um, like the ball pastel line, this two pack, uh, getting Ferris is down there with like the two, like the play sets. Here's gigantic, gigantic Maddie. Um, the Hattastic Tea Party, the two pack with Raven and Dexter and Dragon Games. But yeah, that's it for my collection. Let me know. You guys' thoughts, is this crazy? Oh, there's more artwork here that I printed at Walgreens. As long as you're not selling it, I think it's fine. And then the artwork that comes with the real drama dolls. I guess I'll show you in here real quick, but just, yeah. This is like the, where the doubles in here are kept. But yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Did you enjoy this video? Should I have waited until the end of the year or waited until we got more of the collectors? I don't know. I'm always down to talk about my dolls. So let me know your thoughts and opinions, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.